Welcome back to what was supposed to be the finale of Minish Cap Part 31. It's not, though. We have credits this part for the most part, though. Hidemaro Fujibayashi. Link looks... The guy from the Fuji region. So, Cloud, what did you think of Minish Cap from what you've seen? I think it's a very fun game. I I agree. I actually prefer to play Minish Cap over most of the other uh, 2D Zelda games. I don't know if I like it more than Link to the Past or Link Between Worlds, but I do. I have played it more than both of those. <laughs> I like this. I like this artist rendering of Ezlo. Yep. He looks more puppet-like. Mm -hmm. I would have. I would have to say that the most of the reason why I really like Minish Cap is because although it has a very simple story, it's uh, the world. The world itself is actually something that you can that you can explore it and, and interact with and. Although the, there are only a limited number of NPCs that actually have personalities, the, pers the personalities that you meet are somewhat memorable. Much like oh, the continuous praise that Majora's Mask gets, I actually think that the world here is deep enough to where you can actually, you know, I enjoy the company of the NPCs. As opposed to Ocarina of Time, which has five NPCs total, and you only talk to two of them. Oh my god, that's what the Minish actually look like? Yeah, they're aliens. Oh, they look like little they look like little mice. Well, yeah, cuz they're aliens. Aliens. I don't know if they're the aliens from Majora's Mask, but I highly suspect that they might be. <laughs> They've come from outer space. I know they're not the aliens from Spyro. They come bearing good luck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what else are aliens supposed to bring? <laughs> Chaos and anarchy? <laughs> As you we were saying before, Gerdat, I think that one of this. Oh wow! Hi, Vadi. I, I think that I actually like how Vadi looks like, pr pretty much exactly like Dark Link. Ha ha ha! I think that this game's best asset is the NPCs, the world, and the and the stylistic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the banter between. The ones, the one-way banter from, wow, KG Inafune produced this. Yeah. Cool. I did not know KG that. KG Inafune does a lot of production work, dude. Giant choo choo. choo, -choo it's not. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> you were surprised to hear that KG Inafune does a lot of production work. Yes, because KG Inafune has made some of my favorite games of all time. This is the legend of the Four Swords. Thus did Demon's Quest come to an end. Or did it? <laughs> but surely this is not the end of Zelda and Demon's adventures in Hyrule. The legend will continue. As long as the power of the light, light force echoes throughout the ages. So yeah, demise has already happened. Yay. <laughs> Let all things die. All rights, including the copyrights of game scenario, music, and program reserved by Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo. Would you like to save? <laughs> For as long as there is battery life in Gerdat's Game Boy Advance, that we shall proceed with the game. Uh, well, not really. There's only a couple parts left. And this is mostly me showing off, not necessarily post-game stuff, but a bunch of cleanups that, that I didn't do. I will not be showing off 100% because fuck getting 100% in this game. <laughs> yeah, because that require that just requires you to, to go through the trials and tribulations of finishing the Kinstone fusions. Well, no, actually. There are a couple of mini-games that I cannot 100%. Ah. Well, fuck the mini-games. So you met with Elder Librari? Uh, yeah, what we're doing for, what we're doing right now though is uh, technically we're looking for more kin, uh, kinstone fusions to do, but more than that, we're looking to do a couple of very specific kinstone fusions, specifically with the rest of the with the rest of Tingle's brothers. Tingle, David Jr. Gotta go see David Jr. <laughs> yep. Hi, David Jr. I hope they fit. Hey, I have one of those kinstones. Huzzah! But what did it do? Why it opens up this tree. Yay. 
in North Hyrule Field. Wow, I didn't think that would actually work. David Jr., you need more faith in the power of the fairies. Have you learned nothing from Tingle? <laughs> But yeah, um, let, uh, yeah, we're, again, this is mostly just cleanup stuff. Oh, well, look at all this shit we gotta clean up right here. This is gonna take at least six hours. Mm, and don't worry, there's not six out more hours worth of footage of us digging up digging through dirt. Although there is more footage of digging through dirt than I would like. Mysterious shells. Moldorm. Kill the Moldorm. Five rupees. There's one of the ones that we're looking for. The wall. I can't believe they would do this. <laughs> nah, yeah, uh, bottle number four is lo is locked behind uh, the fucking Goron fusions, and <laughs> ugh, there are a shit ton of them. There's four. There's four more at least a after this one, and I don't and I don't actually uh, get to show off all of them. And I think you have to do all the Goron fusions to also get the mirror shield. Yes, the mirror shield is in the game, but it's pretty much post-game content. And I don't think the mirror shield actually helps you against Vati at all. Well, it wouldn't be very useful now. Well, yeah, we're at the we're you know in post-game post mirror shield. Well, mirror shield doesn't really work post-game. Now, are there are there any post-game bosses? No, at least as far as I'm aware. I mean, you can go fight Vati again if you want. Don't, because you got to go through the goddamn uh, Clock Tower trial again. Ah. Yeah. Honestly, the Clock Tower trial is the only part of of, of the fight uh, of the fight up to Vati that I really dislike. Everything else, everything else, I actually really enjoy about the Vati fight. Now you have two pieces. Get get two more. Yeah, that's the only way to get over to here. Now turn around. Oh, cool! It didn't. It didn't despawn the. It didn't. It should have. Well, we're not gonna fault the game for fucking up on something that actually made it easier. Can we? Thank you, game, for fucking up. <laughs> there are a lot of fucking kinstones in this dungeon. Yeah. I wonder what's in that spiral segment. Could it possibly be? What's in that spiral segment, Cloud? What, what spiral seg? Oh, that spiral segment. Duh. What do you think could possibly be in that spiral segment, Cloud? Shells. Hmm. Well, I say that that would almost be a worthwhile prize. Well, almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And atomic warfare. And atomic warfare. I'm waiting for a video game to come out that's actually just uh, flat out called Atomic Warfare, so I can make that joke every time we play. You cannot be almost pregnant. <laughs> mm, that sounds like a South Park joke. That's actually that that actually came from my biology class, except it, it went more like you can't be half pregnant. Right. You either are or you're not. Oh, c g god damn these kinstones. Hey, it's a green one. We need one green kinstones, dude. But it has to be the right one. Yes. It's spiral. Oh boy, what's gonna be here? Nothing. Literally fucking nothing. What the fuck was the point of this? <laughs> to waste our valuable time. Well, fuck you too, game. Shit, I don't have this kinstone fusion done yet. Okay, what? Oh, you have to do it first. God damn it. All right. From here, I have to figure out what is the uh, what is the uh, last Tingle Brother that I don't have done, because I have three of the four Tingle uh, for, uh, three of the four Tingle Brothers first fusions done. So I think the last one I need is the one over at Lon Lon. I'm not sure though. Lon Lon Ranch. Kane of Pocky. Point. Boof. That open waterfall segment. I wonder what's in there. I can't believe we haven't been here yet. Oh my god. 
The spirit and the sword are one. I am the nearly best swordsman in Hyrule. Spirit blade. Split blade. Oh, split blade. Sorry. This, I'll teach you how to. F oh wow, that's really good. He's gonna he's gonna make it even easier to split. Split blade. Training, training. And truth is almost the exact opposite of not truth. <laughs> Oh wow, he didn't use the he didn't use the split blade switcheroo technique. I I, I can't help but feel just just a little cheated. <laughs> well, that uh, that's because uh, that is not actually one of the Tiger Scrolls. Oh, uh, it, it it is a very passive upgrade. But yes, now now we can use duplication power slightly faster. I don't have the the um, the faster spin attack yet though. All of Tingle's brothers look just a little dismayed. Just a tad dismayed. Just a tad dismayed. It seems to be, it seems to have taken a disliking to their portly brother there. <laughs> He's obsessed with fairies and magic and mysticism and all that boulder dash. Well, I do say, I believe he is quite off of his rock. Yes. Yes, quite. Well. We are so close. <laughs> that was where one of the wallet upgrades was. And uh, why why do the brothers pick such precarious locations just to stand around and do nothing? <laughs> uh, do I show off me fucking this up? Oh wow, that, that game. Yeah, it is significantly faster. Yes. Oh, I don't fuck this up. Oh well. How how could you possibly have fucked that up? Because if if uh if normal Link is not one of the ones that's pushing the rock, you will just attempt to walk through it. Oh wow. Oh yeah, right, right. So he the real one has to be in the front. And ankle is the last one. Ankle? Yep. It's Tingle, Ankle, David Jr. and Knuckle? Yeah, Knuckle. You'd think that wrist would be the guy's name, not Knuckle. <laughs> But with that, we have officially unlocked access to one of the most powerful of all Zelda upgrades. He lied, but still, it's, it sounds cool. <laughs> we need more superlatives. This is the post-game. Mm -hmm. Time for the best. The unhindered. The unobstructed. The holes in the trees. <laughs> Fuck you, I shells. More mysterious shells. Time to... 200. Uh, I wonder... And no, you can't just use your lantern to light that one. You have to press the button. There might you they might as well have just let you use the lantern because the button True. because the button is right next to the torch. Oh! Mm. Oh my god! Oh my god! You it's spawned a ladder! Oh my god! It's so beautiful. More kidstones. And another red kidstone piece. <laughs> Oh. So are you ready for the most fantabulous of all of Zelda upgrades? Is it more kinstones? <laughs> no, it is not more kinstones. What is this? It's the magical boomerang. Oh, you can control its path now. And it throws twice as long. I love this damn thing. Cool. Oh, nice. This is not a good zone to show off how powerful <laughs> this damn thing is. You need... Oh, cool. With the power... If you can actually throw the damn thing off screen. With the power of my mind control boomerang, I can conquer all of Hyrule. Yes. I will stun Gustav and take his crown from him. I, ha -ha. I will stun... You can't dodge this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still looking for the uh, the mythical uh, Minish hole that's actually not there. And that, yeah, if we want to get access to the library, now we have to be in Minish form. Why? Why is... Why? Because Vati is still taking over the castle, officially. Why? Is, oh, Here's right. Here's the Picolite vendor that I never showed off. What the fuck? Okay, so they do they do the thing where they save right before the boss battle. Uh, yes. Okay. So the library is under martial law. Curses, Vati! You're bringing 1984. 